we do have very busy, intense lives in LA. I'm in the entertainment industry, and it's castings, it's driving, it's all over the place. Four years ago, on my birthday, Mark took me to Tulum, got engaged here, and we fell in love with it. We came back, and then we came back again. It was always like coming to take vacations. Since then, I've developed a fitness concept specific for commercial space. So setting up a business here, I've got to be here. It is a significant like financial investment that we're making. And there's definitely a stake in this working out. A man is a lot more cautious than me. I think the, the point in the beginning is maybe to look for something smaller and then expand upon that. This property that we're gonna see right now is very boutique. This is the one that I think is really gonna tick boxes for both of you. Yeah. It's in the jungle. So this particular unit, it's a studio really. So I know it's smaller than what you wanted, yeah. but you have to remember there's a gym. Yes. They uh, have a spa area, they have a yoga area, yes. uh, that restaurant, concierge services, so it's VIP service. Okay. The price of this one is 220,000. Okay. Wow. At least it's a bit this cooler in here. Isn't it's it beautiful. beautiful? Yeah, it's stunning. It yeah. has all natural wood everywhere. The floor also is chukum. I love the soft, round, you know, lines. It's very feminine feeling yeah. to me. Over here, you have a seating area just okay. to eat. You have a, a small kitchen. I mean, sure. the thing is here, you have all the amenities here. You have a okay. restaurant, you have room service. I do think it feels a bit small. I can be comfortable, like, with a kitchenette. I don't need to, I don't need to have a massive kitchen. And if you come through here, wow. you have your closet. Um, still continuing with the same curved lines, everything's round, you know, you've got the round um, marble countertop here. Stunning. You have this beautiful sink that's cut out of one solid piece of marble. It's gorgeous. Okay. It's pretty, yeah? Um, yeah, and you see all the units underneath, everything's curved all the way around. Even the, like, the way things close, it's like yeah. rounded. I love the, the luxury that is in the bathroom. I love the big bath, big enough for two people. And do you think you could prepare your hair in that mirror? I think, the, I think the mirror is big enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Mark, Mark can get ready on the other side. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> sold. Yeah. yeah. I could tell whether she's acting or not. So if she gets a little bit stiff and she's not flowy, I can tell it's, that's what's going on in her mind. Well, I love the fact that it's turnkey and yeah. I love the amenities, but I, I, it's too small. I would really like a bigger kitchen. Okay. Maybe an area to entertain, more of a lounge area. I think I could agree with Amanda there. I'd like to, you know, maybe see something with a lot of, with, with land. Mark's very specific that he wants to be more in the jungle. Whether he can convince Amanda or not, that's a different story. It's very trendy here. People are paying for this. People are paying to be able to be away from everything. Wow. Wow. Dee, this is so cool. I knew you would love this, Mark. I love it, I love it. You wanted nature, you wanted to be surrounded uh, by nature, this is it. This oh. is a pool that's yeah. been built out of the rock. Yeah, natural Yeah, so pool. it's a natural pool. I don't, you don't have to show me anything, I love it. Oh, I love it. But is it a house? It's a pod. It's a pod. It's like mean? a studio. It's not my vision, it's definitely Mark's vision, and this is totally his speed. The actual pod is 270 square feet of interior. That's okay. small. Yeah, it is, but you're getting all this space for expansion. So you can have outdoor decks, you can have lots of exterior living, yeah? Or build a house. <laughs> yeah. Price? 210,000. I love it. I think you've hit me every nail on the head. Hold on, and we haven't even seen it. I think you should calm down a little bit. The whole mirror facade kind of reminded me of like, you know, in Africa when you see a cheetah or something in the bush and you can't make it out from the background, you know what I mean? And then it's suddenly you see it. It's wood stunning, Delilah. Yeah, this is actually um, Estonian oak. So this Beautiful. pod actually comes from Estonia, already uh, built. All done. Yeah. Wow. This is the pod. It's all glass, okay? So stunning. you can see out, but nobody can see in. On the other side, it's all reflective yeah. glass. It's beautiful. Okay? Uh, you have your kitchenette here, just like a studio. You have a small bathroom here, beautiful shower, where if you have a shower, you can 
It's like being outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like the concept. I think it's unique, but this just is way too small. It just feels like a box. I mean, the only thing that makes it feel a little bigger, maybe, is because you've got all this glass. So, it, you know, you're looking at the jungle. It's like being sitting right in the middle of the jungle. It's kind of for me, it's like you're the outside in. So, obviously, you're going to see birds. There's, there's animals in there. Oh, right? you can, uh, yeah, of course. There's jaguars, yeah. there's monkeys, oh. there's all kind of wild birds. You have deer. No. You have deer. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you. That's Africa for me. Um, I, I, again, I'm so, in. Yeah, the African adventurer is going to love this place. Oh. You just go on up and yeah. I'll meet you down here by the pool. Okay. He tends to like projects. I could see how the land could be developed. I mean, there's plenty of land. I thought it was a cool concept, like maybe stay for a night or a visit, but not something I want to live in. Nice and green up here. She's green. I think it's more than that. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> There's a couple of things she wasn't happy about. Um, so I'm going to have to sort of negotiate and see if I can bring her into the way I see things playing out. I don't want to feel isolated. I'm, I'm thinking Delilah's got my back. <laughs> I'm hoping Delilah's got my back. For Mark, this might be a little bit too much of a compromise for him because he doesn't really want anything traditional. He wants something more unique. It's turnkey ready to go. So this is Ale Amaya. As okay. you can see, all this area here is all forest. Yeah. And this is the place we're going to be taking a look at. Perfect. We're five minutes from the beach. The condo I'm showing you is a two bedroom, two bathroom. Price point is 250,000 for the second floor unit. I'm going to show you the model unit right now. The only reason we can even get it at that price is because it's under construction. Wow, I love the floors. Yeah, I like how spacious it is. It's perfect for entertaining. I thought you might like this, Amanda. It's very much uh, what you were looking for, I think. Definitely luxury was something I was looking for. Yeah. And I love that it's ready to go. Yeah. Everything's been thoughtfully designed. And then the kitchen also, they've used natural materials. So they've got the salam, solid hardwood, and the granite. Yeah. And all of that comes included. So you get your fridge freezer, you have an oven, a hob. I like projects. I like to have a vision in my head and then realize the vision. Amanda likes the vision already to be there and built and all this sort of stuff. So obviously this played into everything she likes. I'd love to see the bedrooms. Okay, let's go through. As you can see, it's very spacious. King size bed and AC are yeah. non-negotiables. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can work with that. I love it. Yeah. I love the open layout. It's turnkey, modern finishes. Yeah. I don't like the sort of boxed in feeling. I want something a little more expandable. Jungle feel, more like we're in the jungle. Okay. It's definitely what I envisioned, but he wants something more unique, specifically some land, so maybe he could do some expansion in the future. So I think it, we'd have to make a compromise if he were to come around to this spot. The condo that only was really one room. Yeah. I think we both agree that that really was too small and there isn't any room to expand. Yes, it was small. I, I wasn't a big fan. The traditional condo. That was the one that I liked the most. Yeah, I like how spacious it is. I love that it's ready to go. Yeah. There, there wasn't any room to grow. For the jungle part, what I want to do is at least have the opportunity to show you that it can work. But is it a house? For me, that was my favorite, the jungle part. If we have to go your way, what's your compromise for me? Because it doesn't have... Moving to Mexico, which is a big deal for me. What I thought about proposing to you was, I'm very happy to create other things on the property that will then ease into what you want. In other words, put up another pod or build a, a home. And then we can, we can revisit it like in six months. But give me the opportunity to at least come and, and, and show you that we can do it. Okay? Okay. Deal? Deal. Nastarovia. I Cheers. don't know what that means. Cheers in Russia. But okay. This is still feeling a little bit like vacation. I don't think I've totally unpacked my life here yet. Viva la Mexico! Based on what Mark's been able to accomplish so far, I have faith in him. He loves it, he's having fun with it, so I'm excited to see what he does.